medical ethics consultations, I do rounds, I get into the patient chart, I talk to families, I talk to providers. I have a relationship with this hospital. I have a relationship with these providers and these administrators so that whenever a situation like this occurs that there is no clear guidance, there is no clear right or wrong, we are not sure, the situation is very gray, that we are able to feel trusted enough that they are saying these people live in the gray, these people live in these situations that are not so clear cut. Uh, my background is also philosophy and I studied a lot of logic and a lot of um, argument, uh, rationalization. So whenever we put in our recommendations, we don't just say this is what we think is the right decision. We say this is the right decision and this is why we feel that this is the right decision. So we can give that ethical justification for recommendations where we're not coming into a situation, putting in a chart note saying this is what we think should be done and then kind of walk it away. We, support the individuals, we support the teams, we support the hospitals so that they understand where our rationality is, they understand where these recommendations are coming from so that they can feel more supported with that decision making.